today I'm going to be doing a beginner's guide video. So this is for all newer players or newly returning players that need a quick refresher as to um, what there is in Hearthstone. So I'll kind of be uh, going to some details uh, about what steps you should take next after the basic tutorial to um, kind of how to get better and uh, what you should uh, pay attention to. Um, so first, let's start with the um, general layout. Um, so this is the play button. So this is just how you play the normal Hearthstone mode. And these are your decks. I'll go into these two decks later. Um, these are kind of beginner decks that I recommend when you have... This is with no cards. I've not opened any packs yet on this account. So this is just with the base cards. Um, and the. Uh, I don't have my Hunter leveled up very high, but you get Demon Hunter already started at level 20 when you unlock him. So you have a lot more um, cards to begin with, but I do have the, the Hunter at level 7. So you unlock a couple cards, like at level 8 you unlock Tundra Rhino for Hunter. But uh, for level 7, so just kind of like very beginning um, stuff. But in here, this is how you play. Um, these are just normal uh, Hearthstone matches. So right here is the ranked mode. Um, so you play these ranked matches to kind of, I guess, get a feel for it. But you you unlock a casual thing that will be here uh, after you play enough. So we'll have to, I'll, I'll play with both of these decks and then we'll see how far we can get. To get some gameplay, kind of show you guys what you should do with these decks a little later. Um, here you can go directly to your collection. Um, from your collection you can... Uh, see what cards you have, uh, craft decks from there. So here you just choose what deck you want, click play, uh, while well you have the rank select. Um, an important thing to note about playing, see this is, says play standard here. Um, it says in the beginning you start off with the standard decks, and standard is made up of a collection of the most recent expansions that have been released in Hearthstone. Um, but there's always the classic set is in every single standard. So this deck that you start off with, um, when you initially unlock these characters, is the classic cards that they give you. So you start off with these classic cards, and these classic cards are always in standard, so you don't have to worry about them rotating out. So standard is just made up of the most recent expansion. Um, right now, uh, as I'm making of this video, is the Ashes of Outland expansion, and coming up very soon is the Skullamance Academy expansion. Um, so those will be, in, so those are standard expansions. Um, every, so they have the most recent expansions, but every year they rotate out the three last expansions, and those go into what is called wild. So the, uh, playing, uh, wild decks have every single expansion available. So that has every single card in Hearthstone available to them in that, uh, in that, uh, gameplay. So it's not very friendly for uh, newer players because it requires having lots of cards. So uh, you just want to stick to standard for um, for beginner players. Um, okay, now the solo adventure tab. So here, yes, here we are. So this is your practice mode. Uh, pretty standard. You can play normal or expert. Just kind of try out your decks a little bit if you want. Um, this is the most recent expansion solo adventure, so the Ashes of Outland. I'm um, here. So this is actually where you unlock Demon Hunter. Like, normally you unlock, um... If I go here for instance. Like, you go in this practice tab is how you unlock all the other characters. Um, but to unlock Demon Hunter, you just have to do this prologue. Um, it gives you a deck to do it, so you don't have to worry about crafting your own deck for that. So you just have to go through the prologue, um, and do that. So each, um... Expansion has their own uh, solo adventures that you can play through. Um, you can try them out. Some of them you have to pay money for uh, to, to be able to play, but some of the other ones are free, or there's components of them that are free. So you can just go through and kind of check out um, going through each of them. Uh, you can see them if you'd like. There's some free rewards you can get. Um, yeah, there's, so there's lots of fun, interesting things to do solo adventures that are besides just the normal Hearthstone game mode. Um, then here's the weekly Tavern Brawl. I have not played this week, but each week there's a new Tavern Brawl with a unique, uh, I guess, kind of gimmick, I guess, for it. So a little different, and it's different from, um, the normal, just playing through. But the, every time you, if you're for your first victory of the week, you get a classic pack. So, um, you want to do this at least 
win at least once a week to get your packs going. So it's a guaranteed pack once a week. Um, here, this is your game modes. Here, you can select Arena or Battleground. So these are other options. Uh, kind of like the solo adventures, you just play by yourself against AI. But these modes are other things besides the normal Hearthstone game mode. Um, Arena you is a draft uh, type uh, game mode where you draft a 30 card deck. And, um, it cost, does cost, yeah, you need to reach level 10 first, and it costs 150 gold to actually buy an arena, like, pass, is what our arena ticket, I guess it's called. Uh, but when you complete your arena run, you get rewards based off of how well you do. So you try to get, you can get up to 12 wins, um, but if you have, if you get three losses, then you, then you're out. So this is a really good way to spend gold, um, to try to get more value out of it rather than just buying packs. Because uh, okay, I'll get the packs in a second, but this is 150 gold, and at about three wins, um, you average about one pack and 50 gold. So you get your money back around three wins. So as long as you're averaging about three wins um, in Arena, then you're getting your money back exactly. But if you're doing better than three wins, then you're actually essentially gaining money um, from playing Arena. So this is a really good way to to use your gold when you start saving it up. Uh, this is the Battlegrounds. See, it's just in beta, and you battle against seven opponents. So it's an auto chess type game. Um, very fun, I enjoy it quite a bit, but um, it's quite a bit different from normal Hearthstone, so I will not be touching Battlegrounds in this video, but maybe in the future I'll make a Battlegrounds tutorial. Um, next, I'll go to this the shop. So this is where you can buy um, various uh, things. Um, starting with this, this is the Welcome Bundle. For only $5, you get 10 packs and a random classic Dragon Legendary. So if you're wanting to spend money on this game, this is prob this is the best deal in the game. $5 and you get all of this. So it, it, this is the best deal in the game if you're wanting to spend money. But if you're free to play, then you don't have to buy it. Um, you know, I mean, like, it's not necessary, obviously, to spend money on this game. But if you want to have, an, like, a top deck, then you're probably going to want to spend money. Because otherwise, it would take a lot of time to, to get the cards for it. Um, so this is just the Skullman's Mega Bundle since the new expansion is coming out. They always have, like, pre-purchased bundles um, for the new for the new um, expansion. Uh, this is another pre-purchase uh, expansion. Then they just have card backs as well sometimes. Here's where you can buy all the individual packs. So they have packs for these are all of the um, uh, these are all of the standard packs as of right now. So this is just the Ashes of Outland pack. Then these are the rest of the, the sets that are in standard as of right now. So the Sand Dragon Saviors of Oldum and Rise of the Shadows. And then right here is just the classic pack. So this is um, just your normal classic pack, and it's just a hundred gold. All, each pack is just a hundred gold. So you have, when you save up enough gold, you can either do arena runs to spend your money, or you can spend them on just directly buying packs. Um, here's the Tavern Pass. This is for um, the Battlegrounds perks, plus four arena tickets in it. Um, so if you're looking to play Battlegrounds, then uh, this is a great pack. This is a great bundle to buy. Getting some... Uh, the Battlegrounds perks very helpful for winning. Um, here's the solo adventures that you can buy. For, these are the standard solo adventures. Um, as you can see, it's like about normally around twenty, like fifteen to twenty dollars for the soul adventures. They they do have a lot of pretty good cards. Like they have the adventures with them, but you also unlock cards that you can't normally craft. So if some decks, some of the top tier decks, kind of require some of these cards, but if you're planning on playing free to play, then don't worry about it. Um, there's you don't have to you don't have to spend money, obviously. And then here is your Tarand Whisper Wind Hero Set. So this is completely free, so you just click here, get it for free. There we go. So you unlock, this is a hero, like, skin, essentially, and a card pack, which I'll get into, how to set that up. Um, here is your quest of the day. So I need to play one game in play mode, or get any class to level 10. So these, since these are, like, special quests, since I, like, haven't done them yet, they, uh, they don't have, like, a get rid of quest button like normally in the top right corner there's like a like a uh, like a marker that you can click on that will let you reset a, like this a quest that if you don't want to do it um 
So nor sometimes there's just quests like mo most quests give you gold. So if sometimes there's a quest like like it, that asks you to play Paladin like three for three games. You know, and it, say for example you don't want to play Paladin, then you can just reset that quest and it will give you something else. Um, so yeah, so this is um, this tells you what rank you're at, uh, your total wins in play mode. Um, this is the card back of the month. Each month there's a new card back that are, uh, you have to play five ranked games to unlock. Uh, this is your arena wins, marked here. And then this is your individual hero levels. Um, so as you level up your heroes, you unlock all of the basic cards. So you can go up to level 60. But um, at level 30 is where you unlock the last classic like card for the set. But um, at level 30 to 60, you just unlock golden versions of them. So it just looks cooler in your deck. Um, here's your open pack. Uh, I'll open these a little later, but you drag your pack in there to um, to open them. So each pack has um, five cards, and it's guaranteed at least one of them to be rare. But you can get... Um, so the, the rankings, I guess, are common, which is just white, rare, which is blue, epic, which is purple, and then legendary, which is golden. So <clears throat> common being the worst all the way up to epic... or uh, Sorry, up to legend being the best, obviously. Um... I don't know the percentage chances of them, but generally, um, your average pack you get about you. I mean, you're guaranteed at least one rare, but um, normally you just end up getting about one one rare pack. So don't expect anything too amazing in your first couple packs opening, but maybe you'll get lucky, end up with a legendary. Um, as I was saying, kind of mentioned earlier about golden cards, you can unlock golden cards from pack from packs um, that are worth. When you go to um, collection here, you can see um, there's uh, you can see here's your dust. So when you you can disenchant cards, so you get rid of them. So the golden cards, if you disenchant golden cards, then you get more dust from them from a normal card. Um, so it requires and once you get duplicate cards, and you can hit this crafting button, and then there'll be a button here that says disenchant to get dust. So as you unlock more and more packs, then you can start getting collecting your dust, and then you can go to crafting. And then see, this is all the minions that you or all the cards that you don't have of, of a certain class. Um, and then you can click on it here to craft. This is um, disenchant, and this is craft. So if if you were to have enough dust, then you could click this to craft the card that you want. So it just allows you to kind of get cards that you rather than just opening a ton of packs and hoping to get a card, you can actually craft them to be able to unlock them. Um, so here are all the classes. I'll go through and kind of talk about each of the classes really quickly. So this is the warrior. Um, his hero power is two mana, gain two armor. So as you can see, this is obviously leaning more towards a slower gameplay. Um, if you're planning on just building up a ton of armor over a couple turns, then generally you're uh, wanting to play a little slower, um, is, it makes him more tanky, more survivable for, for throughout the game. Um, there are some variations of warrior that are more aggressive, such as pirate warrior, but in general, it's more of a control deck. Um, that uh, a lot more slow gameplay. Um, this is shaman. His hero power is summon a random totem. So there's four different totems that you can choose, for, or that are um, randomly selected from. Uh, first one is uh, a one one totem. The second totem is a zero it zero two totem that at the end of your turn heal all of your minions one health. Uh, set, the third totem is um, it's a zero two with spell power plus one. Um, spell power, if you don't know, is uh, it that makes your spells deal one more damage than they normally would. So that, that's pretty powerful a lot of times. If you just have a spell that does uh, damage to a ton of enemy minions, then having giving it plus one uh, damage can be pretty helpful. Um, and the fourth one is a zero two with taunt. So taunt is uh, you have to attack that minion before you can attack. Like your opponent has to attack the taunt minion before they can attack um, any other minions or your face. Um, Rogue has a... 1-2 dagger. It's 2 mana. Equip a 1-2 dagger. So a dagger is a weapon. So every single time you attack with a weapon, um, 
you lose his one durability. So if you attack with your dagger, go to a 1-1 one, one dagger after you attack. And it uses your health. When you attack a minion with it, then you uh, take damage. You yourself take damage equal to the enemy minion's uh, attack. Um, Paladin, two mana, summon a 1-1 one, one Silverhand Recruit. It's just a 1-1, one, one basic, uh, nothing special about it. But um, pretty good. I mean, summoning a 1-1 one, is obviously pretty good. So it's guaranteed minions on your board. Um, Hunter, this is uh, st Steady Shot, Hero Power, deal 2 damage to the enemy hero. So as you can see, this obviously leans towards it being a lot more aggressive than, um, say, the Warrior, for example. The kind of like opposites in that sense, this is gain 2 armor. So armor um, goes above your health, so you can have unlimited armor, but you can only have up to 30 health. So you can build up a ton of armor, but this obviously deal two damage to the enemy hero kind of counters that in a sense. Um, but th obviously this leans towards a lot more aggressive decks, and generally aggressive decks are a little easier to play. So that's why I'd recommend, um, I'll get into Demon Hunter in a little bit, but Hunter and, and Demon Hunter being two classes that are really good for beginners to start off with. Um, Druid has two mana plus one attack and plus one armor. So it's kind of split between like a warrior type gaining armor with a little bit of a rogue like attacking sense in a sense. So you just gain this attack and you gain the attack for the turn, but you gain the armor for uh, however long you have it or until you get attacked. Um, so it's pretty good for just clearing um, some minions or to be able to build up a little bit of armor. Um, Warlock, this is two mana. Hero power, draw a card, and take two damage. So actually, although it may seem a little weird at first, especially for newer players, that like your hero power deals damage to you, like doesn't that seem really bad? Like, well, obviously you don't want to take a ton of damage. Drawing a card is an insanely powerful ability. Um, so have, being able to draw a card consistently each turn makes... Uh, so they had to put the take two damage to make it balanced. Um, so Warlock generally can be played as either super aggressively. So you could potentially play uh, something called Zoo Lock, so which is um, like an aggro Warlock deck, which is pretty good for beginners. But so you could look some of those decks up online. But I'll, I'm just going to be mostly talking about Hunter and Demon Hunter. But another uh, way Warlock can be played is um, with lots of control variations. Um, Mage, I think Mage is probably my favorite hero power with Fire Blast dealing one damage. So you can deal one damage to whatever you like. You just select what you would like to deal one damage to. So you don't have to take any damage in return. You just select what you want to deal one damage to and kill it. So if they have like a 2-1 on the board, then you can just use your hero power to kill it. So very simple, straightforward. Um, you would have some experience with this from going through the tutorial. But yeah, pretty, pretty simple hero power, pretty straightforward. Priest, restore two health. Uh, very similar to the sense of the warrior, where you can uh, it seems a lot more towards control um, variation because you get to restore two health. Um, so if you're getting low on health, you can heal yourself. If your minions are getting low on health, you can heal them. So it seems to be a lot more generally slower games um, and a lot more control types rather than aggressive. Um, so generally, the slower a deck plays, a little more the more complicated it is because. You want to, it's it's hard to know when to use resources. So generally aggressive decks are easier to play versus slower decks. That's just kind of a general rule of thumb. Um, Demon Hunter, the last class, the most recently added class, um, added very recently to the making of this video. Um, so his hero power is the only one man to hero power in the entire game. All of these other people, or I shouldn't say in the entire game, of the basic heroes, of the basic heroes. There are some other hero powers that you can unlock from different cards doing things, but these are just the basic hero powers of the of the heroes. So Demon Hunters, one mana, deal or give your hero plus one attack this turn. So it's very similar to that of the Druid of giving plus one attack, but it doesn't have the armor. So this leans towards very aggressive decks um, for the most part, because it's I mean it's very cheap to play. And it's just aggressive and the like, plus one attack. So both Demon Hunter and Hunter leaning are generally the most aggressive decks in the game. And they also have some of the 
easiest uh, kind of beginner decks to play, so I'll get into those decks um, and kind of explain uh, why you should play them as beginner. Alright, let's start with this Hunter deck. So for this Hunter deck, um, whoops, I put in two Arcane Shot, two Stone Tusk Boar, two Timber Wolf, two Tracking, two Acidic Swamp Boost, two Murloc Tide Hunter, two River Crocolisk, Animal Companion, Iron for Grizzly, Chill Wind Yeti, Hound Master, Multi Shot, Sentient Shield Master, Boulder Fist Ogre, Stormwind Champion. Um, is I guess one question a beginner might have is, is this deck even remotely good to say like what's being run by like uh, getting like the top ranked players? Um, no, this deck is pretty horrible in all honesty, but since you're just starting out, you really don't have any cards to choose from. As you level up, obviously, um, your, your character, by just playing more games, you unlock more classic cards to, to kind of play around with. Like this Animal Companion, um, you unlock at some beginning level, which is a very powerful card. This Animal Companion is probably the most powerful card in this deck. Um, you like this, like Storm of Champion, Boulder for Silver Ascension, like, gen like these are not very good. Chill Wind, Yeti, Iron Fern, Grizzly, like, not great. River Cross, Crocolisk, Murloc Tide Hunter. Not really cards. Like, most of these cards are not cards you're going to be running in, you know, in a finalized version of a deck. But starting off in the beginning, you're going to be playing against other people that don't have a ton of cards either. So, it's okay to start off with this type of deck. Like, there's, I mean, it gets the job done for a hunter. So, the point of this deck is really just to try to do as much damage as you can um, to your opponent, basically, as quickly as possible. So, with Arcane Shots, you can help finish off your opponent. Um, Stone Tusk 4 having Charge, so Charge uh, allows you to attack directly when you play the minion on your turn. You can attack either a minion or your opponent's face. Uh, Timber Wolf buffing Beast. So this kind of is a, it has a Beast uh, kind of synergy to it, like a Beast kind of uh, twist to it. We're having, see, you can tell by the, the Beast tag, so uh, I'll go to the, I'll go to this card. Or, well, let me highlight it. Um, as you can see at the bottom of the cards, they have Beast. So that just tells you it works with this Timberwolf giving plus one attack. Um, another card that works with Beast is uh, this Houndmaster. So give a friendly Beast plus two, plus two, and Taunt. So Taunt, again, they have to attack that before anything else. Um, just important things to know with this deck. Stormwind Champion is not a Beast. Lower Fist Ogre is not a Beast. Senge is not a Beast. Chillwind Yeti is not a Beast. Uh, Murloc, Tide Hunters, and Murloc, not a beast. Swamp Boos, not a beast. So you just kind of have to be careful with um, what cards you have. So this is just a very kind of rough beginning deck. Um, I'll get into some gameplay of it a little later. Um, now this deck, however, this deck I would say is significantly stronger than that other Hunter deck. Um, that other Hunter deck, obviously, um, there's ways to build it up. Um, uh, I'll probably in the future I will try to do some budget deck videos to kind of show you guys like um, some ways you, you can build your classes. But um, this Demon Hunter deck, sent, they release when you unlock it, you already start at level 20 with it, and you already start with a ton of cards to choose from. So you just have it in like, and Demon Hunter has a lot of very powerful cards already. So I'd highly recommend this. So you even get start off with a legendary. And a couple epics. So they start you off with some pretty powerful cards. Like, look, this is an epic. You get a couple rares here. You get this legendary. So you have start off some very powerful cards for Demon Hunter. So I highly recommend playing Demon Hunter uh, for your first um, deck. If you want, like, have a taste of, like, kind of what a better deck is, is like, I would definitely play Demon Hunter. So Battle Fiends. This, a lot of, this is another just very aggressive deck. Try to hit your opponent as much as you can. Battle Fiend, after a hero attacks, gain plus one attack. So, and you can know, based off this hero power, which is hero power plus one attack this turn, um, you're just going to be hitting your opponent for, like, once you use your hero power every turn, buffing this guy, so it's going to be gigantic if your opponent can't remove him. Just consume magic, silence, and enemy minion. Okay, I think the import, important thing to know about this card, is, or about Demon Hunter as a class, is as the outcast mechanic. So Outcast, uh, I'll find a card with Outcast over here. What? Well, okay, here we go. Outcast, a bonus if played as the left or rightmost card in the hand. So when you have your hand, um, it will 
cards will appear. I mean, there's your entire hand. So if it's on the very left side or the very right side, then you can play it for with a special effect. So for this specific card, it's this this costs one for I beam. But um, some other examples, uh, I think there's should be some more outcast cards. Yes, yeah. Consume magic is outcast is draw a card. Um, so there's just lots of cards that have very powerful effects based off of outcast. Um, twin slice is one mana. Give your hero plus two attack this turn. Add a second slice to your hand. So second slice is just another one mana. Give your hero plus two attack. Um, or Zul horror. Is that one mana two one and you get when it dies, the death rattle means when it dies, then you add a two one lost soul to your hand. So it's just a one another one mana two one. Um Chaos Strike, plus two attack, draw a card. Give your hero plus two attack, draw a card. Silas Watcher. So you get to look at the top three cards of your deck. Or a battle cry, which is when you play a card, look at the top three cards of your deck, and you choose one to put on top. Umbra Wing, this is a very strong card. Uh, I really like this card. I mean Battle Fiend, Twin Slice. Like, Umber Wing. Umber Wing's a 2-mana 1-2. You summon two 1-1s. One uh, I'll draw two Warblades. It's a 3-mana 2-2 two, two weapon and with Lifesteal. Meaning, Lifesteal meaning that you gain health based off of how much damage you do. So, if you were to use your Hero Power, it gives you plus 1 attack. Then, with your weapon, it already has 2 attack. So, that means you have 3 attack. So, if you were to hit somebody, then you decay, or then you heal for 3. A Coordinated Strike, you summon 3 one ones with Rush. So rush means they can attack immediately, but they can only attack minions. So charge is the thing that allows them to attack face, but rush means they can only attack minions. I beam we went over uh, has life steal, so it's, this is a spell. Deal three damage to a minion with outcast one and has life steal. Seder over here another really powerful card. After a hero attacks, summon two two Seder. So it's a three mana four two when your hero attacks, summon two two Seder. Um, and you're obviously attacking a ton with your hero power. Uh, soul cleave. Deal two damage to two random enemy minions with life steal, altruist, outcast. So it's, it's when you play a card that's the left or rightmost hand card in your hand, deal one damage to all enemies. So when it says all enemies, it means minions and the enemy's face. So that can do a lot of damage, wipe your opponent's board, and deal a lot of damage to them. Ildari Fellblade. So rush, and if it has outcast, it gains immune. So immune means it can't take any damage that turn. It cannot die, it cannot take any damage that turn. Um, and then Glaive Bound of Death, another extremely powerful card. So uh, if your hero attacks this turn, you deal 4 damage. So you get to choose where that 4 damage goes when you play this card. So as long as you attack... So, for, for example, turn 6, if you use your hero power, cost 1, attack something, then you can play this with this battle cry to deal 4 damage to um, some enemy. Um, okay, I think those are kind of the basics of the deck. Um, I guess something I could say real quick is... Um, you just go through this kind of the basics of this here. Um, so this is the Demon Hunter tab, and this is all the Demon Hunter cards. So you can click on the top of the page or top left or like any of the sides of this page here to go to the next page. You can hover over cards. You can take a right click to um, look at them in more detail. There's kind of some flavor text here. Um, so this is the Druid. You'll obviously unlock more cards as you play. So Druid, Hunter, Mage. Paladin, Priest, Rogue, Shaman, Warlock, Warrior. And these are the neutral cards. So neutral cards can be used in any deck. Any deck. So these are class specific. These cards can only be used in Demon Hunter. These can be used in anything. Um, down here are kind of some tabs. Um, you can kind of look at uh, just kind of these are your standard cards. So these are all the cards in standard. Um, these are your initial cards like, or initiate cards. These cards are from the Dragon set. And these are just basic. These are just the basic cards. So you just want to keep it on standard cards. Just they're just all cards you can play on standard. Here you can just if you want to look for a specific just zero mana cards, you just click this here. If you want just four mana cards, you click that. If you want seven plus, you just click there. You can search for specific keywords here, like battle cry. Boom! It shows all battle cries. So you can look for those keywords, or you can just look for a specific card. Say we just want blur. Boom! You find blur. Um, you can also search for, let's go here, you can also search for, um, like, tags, such as beast, or beast, boom, shows you all the beasts here, uh, say so you want murlocs, there, there's all your murlocs, or, 
Murloc. There you go, sorry. Murloc. Probably put, put the correct thing, not just the wrong thing. Uh, yeah. So that kind of stuff. Um, you can search there. Crafting tab went over a little bit. You can show. This is just kind of the cards that you don't have that you can click on if you once you get dust to be able to craft stuff. Here is where you can select um, what card back you want. So this is from the Turan set. Um, and you can click Make Favorite by right-clicking on it to put it as your card back. Um, here are your heroes. You can look at them. And we unlocked Turan for free. So you can make it your favorite. So this is a priest character. So you, it will just replace what your normal priest looks like. So normally have Anduin as priest. But um, right now, Turan as priest. Um... I think that's all for this. Now we can get into some actual gameplay, and I'll kind of show you the decks. Um, I highly recommend this beginner demon hunter deck. If you want to play hunter, obviously, I mean any class, you can obviously play any class. Um, I highly recommend just testing around with the hero powers and kind of the classes, and obviously leveling them up to see what cards you get. Um, and then maybe if you get a card from a set, like if you get like a epic from a uh, from a class, and you want to try out that card, then definitely go put that in your deck, try it out. Um, there's tons of resources online for budget decks, for beginner decks, uh, for decks that work with different cards. So use the internet, but use that as a that's a hot that's a really good resource that you guys should use. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So we're gonna play Demon Hunter. Okay, okay, we are against a shaman. So, remember Shaman's hero power? Um, summons around Totem at 2 mana. Um, okay, so we are going second. So that means that we start with 4 cards to choose from. And now we get to, this is our mulligan phase. So we get to choose what we want to replace. So generally, you want your outcast cards in this side if you want to keep any outcast cards at all. So since we have I-Beam in this slot, because when you draw cards, you draw them, and they go to the right-hand side of your deck. So if you have an outcast card and it's on your right-hand side initially in your hand, then you draw a new card, then it will lose its outcast ability because there will be another card to the right of it. So this is a good slot for the outcast. Um, Sander Overseer is a good enough card to keep in hand. Um, I think I will keep all of these, actually. I think they're good enough. Generally, for mulliganing, you want to keep low-cost cards. You want to keep low-cost cards in your hand. So, like, this is really good. And since we're going second, we also get the coin. So knowing that, on turn two, I plan to coin Seder Overseer out. Because it's a three drop. So right now, I can just start off by doing this. Just playing my two one. Each turn, obviously, gaining a mana crystal. Uh, so opponent did nothing turn one. See if he hero totems here. Um, having a two one out is kind of nice against the totems. Because three-fourths of the time, this is a zero two totem with um, one-fourth of the time being a 1-1. One, one. So if it's a 1-1, one, one, be annoying if you were to do that, but most of the time, um, it's a 0-2. So this trades in really well to those 0-2s. So we drew coordinated strike, so summon three 1-1s. One, huh, that's kind of annoying that he had that. Um, um, so we have a couple options here. I could either hero power, attack that 1-1 one, one, so it doesn't trade into my 2-1. Um, afterwards, I would be able to uh, not do anything. I could I-beam the 1-1 one, one for 1 mana, but that seems like a waste since this deals 3 damage and this is only a 1-1. One, one. Or, I could even coin out Coordinated Strike, so use the coin to play Coordinated Strike. Someone 3 one was rushed, trade that one of the 1-1s one, ones in there. Or I could just play Seder Overseer. Um, I think I'm going to play Seder Overseer, just because it's really hard for him to kill um, my 4-2 with just a 1-1. One, one. Um, and then having this out as early as possible is very helpful, because I plan on either just, like, I'll draw two Warblades or, like, Chaos Striking, something that gives me attack to allow me to attack, to start summoning 2-2s. Two so, yeah. Demon Hunter deck is very powerful, it's lots of strong cards. Um, generally for the meta right now, for Ashes of Outland, um, generally the stronger classes are more Demon Hunter, um, Warrior, uh, those kind of classes, Rogue, Druid, Hunter, those are pretty good, um, while Shaman's generally not very good right now, 
Um, this is just specifically for Ash of Valland meta, so if you're watching this in future expansions, then do not take note of that. Okay. It's very interesting. Um, I think the best thing... I can do here... I would- I want to attack to get this 4 to start- to get this to start summoning 2-2s. Two On this little lightning symbol, just means that it's an active effect. So, like, it will- there's things that will, um, activate it. So, um, I think I'm actually just gonna play Chaos Strike. It's gonna look, look a little weird, but I'm gonna play it so I can draw a card. Sometimes in this Demon Hunter deck, you just play card things to draw a card. And I'm gonna trade here, kill one of those 1-1s one, one, so I can't kill my 4 too efficiently. And I'm just gonna play a 2-1. And then I will hit his face. Um, the reason I'm not trading my 2-1 into the 1-1 one, one is because... I would like to keep my... I, we're trying to do as much damage to our opponent as possible. And it's just generally, uh, it's, we were able to do a lot more damage here than he is able to do to our face. So it makes him want to trade into our 2-1. Um, it is the, you could, if you are scared about him being able to buff this 1-1 one, one, or do something with it to be able to kill our 4-2, then you could trade your 2-1 to the 1-1. One, one. Hmm. But, um, with this deck, generally we're just trying to, uh, hit our opponent as much as possible. See, see, he traded into the 2-1 there. See, so if we had traded there, we would miss 2 damage on his face. Yeah, I feel kind of bad for this guy because he's just playing a pretty... He's just playing like the basic shaman deck, not really knowing uh, what's going on. So I feel kind of bad for for uh, stomping him, but it's just kind of how it goes. So playing this battle fiend is a good draw because we get battle fiend out. Then I can equip. I'll draw two war blades. Hit here. You two two. You generally want to use your weapons to kill minions rather than having your minions because you want to keep your minions on the board. And it was important to play this first. Because it gains plus one attack after we attack it. So, now I generally want to get rid of totems. Um, the kind of... The, the spell power one's kind of annoying. I don't know how many spells he has in this um, basic shaman deck, but... Just generally, as the more you play, the more familiar you're going to be with the cards that are played in different classes. So, a lot of it's just experience, just uh, knowledge of... Knowing what's played. Um, so I'm just gonna attack here, 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 hero power, here. Do you not have this boost up? See, I didn't attack with this first because I, I wanted to attack with the weapon first so I could be able to buff my battle fiend. Um, in this case, it didn't specifically matter because we had lethal anyway, but you want to remember attack first before attacking the battle fiend. So, now we just kill him. Um, he didn't put up too much of a fight because it was just his, the basic deck. So this Demon Hunter deck is really powerful against these kind of beginning uh, people that are just that are new players. Oh, we got a new card back. Okay, very interesting. See, this is a pack I got from that quest. Uh, we'll get... Okay, so play two games. So they just give you tons of packs in the beginning. Um, I'll play one with this hunter. And then, um, yeah, and then I'll open some packs and kind of tell you what cards are generally good. And then we can take a little bit, look at crafting, and like dusting and, and crafting cards. Um, yeah. Okay, we're against the Warlock. Okay. Um, it's kind of nice to go against Warlock because they do lots of damage to themselves with their hero power. Um, and our hero power does two damage to them, so, um, it's kind of nice in th this sense. Uh, so we, we have the coin, um, so, because we're going second. Um, I don't think I want to keep iron for Grizzly. Like, you generally want to try to look for, like, one and two draws, but Animal Companion is such a strong card, and we're on the, we have the coin in our hand that I think I'll keep it. Arcane Shot's good to keep, Murloc Tide Hunter's pretty decent. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the rest of these cards. Okay, multi shot. Okay, we got a cup. We got a lot of removal in our hand. So animal companion summons a random beast companion. There's three beast companions. One of them is a four two with charge. So the second one's a two four. Um, that makes the rest that gives the rest of your minions plus one attack. 
So not even necessarily beast, just the rest of your minions plus one attack. And the third one is a 4-4 with taunt. So all of those are very powerful. Um, I'm going to start off by playing the Stone Tusk board here. I said one with charge. Um, this card, playing this turn one, is a little like debatable against classes such as Demon Hunter, uh, Druid, Mage, because they can kill it easily. But since this is its hero power, is draw a card, take damage. I don't have something that can kill the 1 1 easily. Okay. He discovered a lock, he's turn 1. Uh, I don't think this is in the normal or lock deck, or maybe it is. I don't remember from my playthrough of it. So, lackeys are generally pretty strong, so you get to, got to discover spell off this lackey. Okay. Um, this animal companion is just very powerful, so I'm just going to get it out as quickly as I can. Let's see which one we get. So, this is the 4 2 with charge. Um, I'm going to go like this. I definitely tried that face because I'm trying to do as much damage as possible. Um, I'm going to send this one face as well, just trying to chip away at his health. You could trade 1 1 into this 1 1 into this 1 1, but um, I'm just trying to be as aggressive as possible right now. Um, but that's definitely a trade you can consider. Like, that's not a bad play. That's, that's a still a good play. Like, I could be punished. This is the greedy play, is what I did. I did. I took a greedy route. So sometimes you have to just determine like what is should I play greedy or should I play not greedy. See, he traded the one on there, so that means our play worked off in, in this scenario. Um, hmm. Here we have some interesting options. Um, I think I'm gonna play this one one and this two one. I'm going to trade this into this 2-1, because I don't want him to kill my 4-2 efficiently. I want him to, I want it to be hard for him to kill this 4-2. So he's going to have to trade this 2-3 into this 4-2 if he wants to kill it now. So I've done 8 damage with this card overall. So it's been this card has uh, done a lot of work for me so far. Okay, Void Walker. Okay. Summon 3, 1-1. One, one. Ooh, okay. Okay. Chill One Yeti was a good draw. Um, I'm going to play this Chill One Yeti, and I'm going to trade these in, because I don't want the 1-1 one, one Imps to um, kill it easily. This Timberwolf's not looking too good right now, because we're not drawing any of our other beasts, so... We will see. Uh, I'm going to probably start using my Hero Power pretty soon. Draw two Demons from your deck. Okay. Another Void Walker. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Okay. Iron Master. Okay. Um, since this is actually a beast, I'm just gonna buff it just for just trying to get my minions out right now. Um, it's like a tempo play. Just try to like keep putting pressure on him. Trying to just keep getting stuff on the board. So that's generally pretty good for, for new players to remember. So sometimes you just want to put... See, this guy forgot about the taunt. This guy's, this guy's obviously a new player. doesn't remember taunt. He has to attack this before he can attack any of these two minions or my face. So keep that in mind. Let's see what he's got here. Um, yeah, remember you can emote here if you'd like. You right-click on your character and then you can... Do any of these emotes? Go we'll give him greetings. Um, also, with Hearthstone, all the kind of backgrounds very interactive, so you can click on stuff, kind of see what happens. Okay. So you trade his three imps into that three three. Okay. Um. I'm just gonna use Arcane Shot to get rid of that, and then just hit. Hit. Um, although there isn't anything to buff, I think I'm just going to play this just to get more minions on the board. I'm just trying, just trying to get a lot of stuff on the board right now. Since he has no minions on the board, and this is just the beginning kind of Warlock deck, so it doesn't have as much removal. So this isn't a play... Oh, really? He has Crazed Netherwing in his deck. Wow, I just got punished for that then. Okay, I was not expecting that. Okay, this guy, I don't... You should not have life tapped there. This guy's incredibly low on health. So now we can just do this, here. 
zero power. So now he has two turns left, because we can kill him over the course of two turns with Steady Shot. So I am threatening Lethal as of right now, so he has to kill both of these, to or put up a taunt, or heal. And we're like, generally, don't run that much healing. Galakron. Oh, okay. Run Galakron. With no invokes. Summon a random demon. Okay. Um, so he's still really low. He's still dead over the course of a couple turns. I can actually multi-shot to wipe his board here. Ooh, tracking is kind of... So tracking, we have to look at the top three cards. Choose one. Uh, those are kind of horrible. Um, I'm going to start doing that. Uh, so I have either I can Iron for Grizzly or I can Hero Power. Um, in this case, I'm going to Hero Power because it puts into two health. Knowing that Warlocks generally don't run any healing. So it allows me to kill him next turn, guaranteed with my hero power. I bring life. Or he had just has Alex Drossa. Okay. What the heck? Why does this guy have some decent cards in his deck? Alex is not a typical card you see against. I mean, played that often, kind of just depends on the deck. Um, so that's a little annoying. Just gonna do this. Hero power. Um, he's still in a little bit of a pickle because he. I mean, I have lethal on the board as of right now, so he's probably gonna trade his 8 8 to my 6 7 and have to kill my 4 1 somehow. So. Um, hopefully, he doesn't have any removal cards. Uh, I was not expecting him to have the legendary Alex Daraza for my second matchup for this beginning, huh? That's kind of interesting. And also having Galakron. I mean, um, I think you just get Galakron for free. So that's not that surprising, but Alex draws it was a little bit of a shock there. And his drain life. Okay, that is not good. Um, probably in a losing position now. Hmm. Wolf Rider. Okay, this is not looking too good anymore. He's drained life in my face. Okay. Wow, he has a lot of, a lot more healing than I expected. Uh, I can play both of these here. Yeah, this is a 4-4 after Stormwind, so it's hard for him to effectively trade in. Let's see what he's got here. Maybe, um, he's going to play a card here. Hmm. What if... Yeah, see, that is all these new players not familiar with Taunt yet, so keep that in mind. You have to attack the Taunt creature first. <laughs> oh my goodness, wow. This guy... <laughs> what the heck? He just got a copy of Alex Draza in his hand. Okay, that was a misplay by my opponent. You should not have done that. He messed up pretty badly there. And I could win here. Two thirds of the time I win here, so let's see what I get. Yes. So I won because my opponent misplayed here. Um, even though he was in a very good winning position. Um, he let me win because he did not kill my minions when he was super low health. Um, so yeah. I probably shouldn't have won that. Um, but you see I'm blocking more, unlocking more of these class cards to make my deck better. Um, I wouldn't play Tundra Rhino, but, um, those kinds of cards. Um, I'd say that this, um, Hunter deck I have listed here is pretty rough. Like, you're going to want to level up a lot more before you, like, get a better deck. Um, you definitely could just look up online, like, top beginner decks. But I'd say the Demon Hunter deck is a lot more solid. Um, let's just open some packs here and then kind of see what we can get. Whoa! Jaraxxus. Okay, well, 
Um, you might actually be guaranteed a legendary in your first 10 tax opening. I'm not 100% sure, but, um, uh, wow, okay. I was not expecting a legendary on the very first card. So, Lord Jaraxxus, destroyer here in place with Lord Jaraxxus. So, you get a 3 damage, it's like a 3-8 weapon, and you but you only have 15 health, um, and your hero power is 2-2. Two, two. Or, sorry, it's two mana, summon a 6-6, six, six, so that's pretty strong. Um, Jaraxxus is not played um, very often in the current meta, but um, you know, it's something to throw off your opponents early. Okay, wow, an epic as well. Gore Howl for Warrior, okay. Interesting. See, and this is a golden, this is golden rare. Um, man, Titan for Shaman. Okay, so we're getting some pretty good cards. I'm not sure. I feel like I'm getting pretty lucky right now, in, in all honesty. Yeah. See, this is this is more like an average pack of four commons in a rare. So now we can go to our collection. My collection here. See, this is this marks that you have new cards. So new card is Starfall. We got the Tundra Rhinos from leveling up. Cone of Cold Ice Barrier. Repentance. Yeah, it's kind of basics. Oh, I should mention something real quick. Let me go back after I go through all these new. You can um another you can actually sort by new as well like this, and then all the new cards will pop up. But um, I'm gonna go to Paladin really quickly. So this is a secret. It's something that you play, and then um, it's like a trap card in Yu-Gi-Oh. Like it's something after your opponent does something, then your secret will activate. So after your opponent plays a minion, reduce its health to one. So it's like it's hidden. Your opponent doesn't know what it is. It will just a little marker that there is a secret on the battlefield. So like this, when your heroes attack, gain it armor. So just depending on the class, there's certain the secrets. Just the more you play, you'll be more familiar with what kind of uh, secrets there are. Let's go to Warlock real quick. Look at our Lord Jaraxxus. We can look at it. So if we wanted to disenchant it, we could get 400 dust. Um, I've been told... Uh, I saw some guide recommending that you never disenchant any classic legendaries because you you can never get duplicate legendaries from a set unless you already have every single legendary. So you'll be opening lots of classic packs as the game goes on. So you never really want to disenchant these. Um, I guess you really could if you really, really wanted a specific card. You see it costs 16,000 dust to craft, but you only get 400 from disenchanting it. It was generally not the greatest to disenchant um, like that, but you can disenchant some other cards. Normally, you'll just just end up um, disenchanting extra cards um, to get more dust to be able to craft stuff. But take a Lord Jaraxxus, uh, pretty interesting. Could try that with some more luck decks, I guess. Um, maybe you guys could comment below what kind of interesting cards you guys open from your first kind of packs. And um, if you guys have any questions. Um, about anything for newer players, any keywords, any tips you guys want, any future videos you guys want me to make, please ask or please comment below. Um, I'll try to answer everything I can. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys um, have a fun time playing Hearthstone and uh, learned a lot from this video. All right, thanks guys.